Hello everybody. Welcome to Sermon on the Go. Today my theme is on discipline. Discipline is an activity, exercise or a regiment that develops and improves skills. It is training to act in accordance with laid down rules. Self-discipline is the ability to push yourself forward, stay motivated and take action regardless of how you are feeling physically or emotionally. You show discipline when you intentionally choose to pursue something better for yourself and you do that in spite of factors like distractions, hard work or unfavorable odds. The Apostle Paul writing to the church in Corinth said this, I discipline my body and bring it under subjection. You are either controlling yourself or you are controlled by something because a person without self-control is as defenseless as a city broken down without walls. Christian discipline refers to careful living. All things are lawful for me, but not all things are beneficial. All things are lawful for me, but I will not be dominated by anything. Discipline persuades you to set boundaries for yourself and enables you to walk in an impeccable integrity. Everything God's permit must be controlled. Therefore, you have to set goals, plan to work and work your plans. It takes discipline to deny yourself pleasures and to pursue your vision. It takes discipline to pay the price to become great. Discipline makes you stand for your moral code of conduct instead of failing or falling in the face of temptation. A lot of people want to be successful, but discipline has eluded them and they are living their lives without discipline. I'm going to share with you a few things that can help you to build discipline for yourself. One, your association. Watch the people you associate yourself with because your association determines your allocation. Therefore, refuse to associate with people who are going nowhere. Don't associate with people who will pull you down in life. Second, managing your time. Time is the most important commodity that God has given to everyone. You are not going to develop and grow if you don't use your time wisely. The billionaire and yourself are both given 24 hours to trade with. Therefore, use your time well. Plan your time and use it valuably. Thirdly, become a lifelong student. Steady to present yourself approved to God. Readers are leaders. If you want to succeed in business and in career, then discipline yourself to study as a lifestyle and make sure that everything you read contributes positively to your mental development. When it comes to developing reading habits, all you need is a basic education. If you don't read, you don't learn anything. For example, if you don't make reading your habit, you may sign your destiny away or lose vital opportunities in life. Fourth, spiritual discipline. You must develop and discipline yourself spiritually because your spiritual development determines your physical achievements. Spend time in prayer and fasting because people at the top are not ordinary. Top people in business, top people in the private sector, top people in government and in the voluntary sector, 
Top people in society are spiritual, either positive or negative. So spend time to build and discipline yourself spiritually with fasting and prayers and with daily devotion. Number five, watch your spending habits. Stop wasting money, buying luxuries, or taking unnecessary holidays after a financial breakthrough is very dangerous. Learn to invest, grow your asset, and solidify your financial capability. Most people, when they get a financial breakthrough, start to buy flashy cars. Friends, cars are not investment because the moment you drive off with the new car, it starts to depreciate. I have seen people who have won more than 9 million pounds in lottery but became bankrupt after three years because of their bad spending habits. If you must buy a car, it must be out of necessity or for business purposes. Don't squander your money on flashy things that depreciates in price. Rather, invest your money in things that can bring you return on your investments. Also discipline yourself to pay tithes and give quality offerings because God will bless you and make you more prosperous. How to develop personal discipline. Commit yourself to instructions because instructions are used to construct our destinies. Let's not bend the word of God to suit ourselves. Rather, let's bend ourselves in line with the word of God. And finally, mortify your flesh in the Holy Spirit. One of the greatest enemies of discipline is our flesh. Therefore, free yourself from the stronghold of the flesh by the power of the Holy Spirit. Because when liberty lacks control, it becomes captivity. Your flesh will be telling you to do things that goes against your moral code of conduct. But you need to shut those thoughts and submit yourself to the leading of the Holy Spirit. Pray for God to give you the strength to build these disciplines into your life. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day that you've made and we thank you for teaching us about discipline. I pray for everybody under the sound of my voice that Holy Spirit, you will fall afresh on them as they learn to build these attributes of discipline into their lives to the glory of your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Friends, don't forget to subscribe, follow me on YouTube, and share this message. I shall see you on Thursday. Shalom. Peace. <laughs>